380, the Wanderer Speaks. In order for once to get a glimpse of our European morality from a distance, in order to compare it with other earlier or future moralities, one must do as the traveller who wants to know the height of the towers of a city. For that purpose he leaves the city. The thoughts concerning moral prejudices. If they are not to be prejudices concerning prejudices, presuppose a position outside of morality, some sort of world beyond good and evil to which one must ascend, climb or fly, and in the given case at any rate a position beyond our good and evil. An emancipation from all Europe, understood as a sum of invaluable evaluations which have become part and parcel of our flesh and blood. That one wants, in fact, to get outside or aloft is perhaps a sort of madness, a peculiar unreasonable thou must, for even we thinkers have our idiosyncrasies of unfree will. The question is whether one can really get there. That may depend on manifold conditions. In the main, it is a question of how light or how heavy we are, the problem of our specific gravity. One must be very light in order to impel one's will to knowledge to such a distance, as it were beyond one's age, in order to create eyes for oneself for the survey of millenniums, and a pure heaven in those eyes besides. One must have freed oneself from many things by which we Europeans of today are oppressed, hindered, held down and made heavy. The man of such a beyond, who wants to get even in sight of the highest standards of worth of his age, must first of all surmount this age in himself. It is the test of his power, and consequently not only his age, but also his past aversion and opposition to his age, his suffering caused by his age, his unreasonableness, his romanticism. <laughs>